this is Peggy for CropStop.com and my sister in crafting, CJ. That's her hands. Oh, you missed her hand. It's got to be down lower. There she is. That's all you get to see. Well, tonight we are going to show you how we made this adorable card using the memory box. Let's see. The dies. One was called... Oh, Jiminy, I forgot already. Let's see. This one's called Chloe Stem. Yeah, that sounds okay. You know, it's a flower. And that's what it looks like. And then the other one's some kind of fancy bows. Let's see what the names are. Crisp bows. Well, that's easy enough. I can remember that. Crisp bows. So we're going to use those. And, of course, we're going to use some of my favorite inks, mementos. We're going to use the Rosebud, and we're going to use Ladybug. I pulled out a couple old Martha Stewart punches. We're going to use the Border Punch and a Butterfly. Any punches that you have, you can use, obviously. Then we're going to use one of my favorite things, Distress Stains. These are some of the new colors. Let me show you those up close and personal. Look at that. I don't know what that color is called. Lawn Mower. Oh, for heaven's sakes. No, it wasn't Lawn Mower. What does it say? Mowed lawn. Mowed lawn. Well, mowed lawn. Ma well, you know how I am about names. And that one's called Picked Raspberry. So we're going to use those. And, well, I guess that's everything. So let me clear some things off here and CJ and I will get started. Alrighty, now we're going to use one of Martha Stewart's punches. Now, all of her border punches, I believe, work this way. Each side will flip out. And then there are little pictures on there on the side so you know right where to put your picture or your, your paper right after you punch it. So I've already gone ahead and punched one side, so CJ's going to give you a little demo how you do the other side. So you're going to line her up, punch her through there, and then you're going to line up what you just punched with the pictures that they've given you to the sides. On each side, that's going to give you the whole row. There we go. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, while she's so busy working and I'm just chatting, I'm also going to show you how to do a stamp with your die. Honey, please, it is so cool. I can't wait to show you. All right, get that all lined up. And that will be our base for our card, our mat that goes on our base. All righty, there we go. Ta-da! That works. Now, we are going to bring in a piece of paper and use our Distress Stains. Now, I did this ahead of time so that I would know right where to do it. So what you're going to do is get a piece of cardstock, and we're going to use that little piece that's already been inked up as our little guide to know how big of a spot we need of the pink and how big of a spot we need of the green. Now, here's what Peggy did by mistake. You want to make sure you place your die face down just like you're going to cut it because otherwise your ink spot will not be big enough. Does that make sense? So, CJ is going to bring out the Distress Stain, and we're going to show you how you do that. Let me get a little closer. There we are. I'm going to move this camera in a little closer. There we go. So, we're going to start out with the pink, and I kind of laid my little piece next to it to kind of give me an idea. Okay, that's about how big I need it. And then all you do is just, like a paint dauber, rub that on your paper. All right. And then you're going to do the green. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a little bit of the green going into a little bit of the pink because we're going to cover that with that bow, but you want to kind of have it so it's long enough for your stem. Then you can go ahead and lay your die in there and say, well, is that enough or is that not enough? And if it's not, you just add a little bit more. Now, you have to give this just a little bit of time to dry, or you can pull out your heat tool and you can dry it that way. We want to make sure we get the right amount of green first. Let's see if that works. All right, that worked. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry, and we're going to pull in the cuddle bug, and we're going to cut it and see what happens. All righty, we're going to use the cuddle bug, and we are going to use the dye right on top. See how perfectly it fits in where she used her distress stains. Perfect. We are going to use an A plate, a B plate. We're going to put the paper with the dye facing down, because remember, Peggy cuts into her B plates because they're easier to get, with a C plate on top, and then we're going to run her through there. It might make a little crackling noise, and remember, that's okay. And that time it didn't because I said it was going to. So we're going to pull it out of there. I want, it, I want you to see how easy these cut. I love these dies there. They just cut so precisely every time. Now there's a lot of little pieces to this one, so be careful when you're taking it out. All those little, I don't know what you call those, stems with the little balls on the end of it. The flower bloom. There's a lot of them to come out. So we'll get that out of there, and I'll move the cuddle bug, and we'll continue on. All right, well, off camera, we went ahead, and we took the little flower all out of the little die, and then we went ahead, and we cut out the little bow. Now, on the back of the die are these tiny, let me see if I can get a little closer, tiny little holes, and you're going to take a push pin, is what I use, or if you've got a um, some kind of a pokey thing, stick it through there, and that's going to break the paper loose, so you can pull that little bow right out of that die. Look how easy that comes out. 
Now, of course, you want to be a little careful with the little tiny weeny weeny stem there. And then what I did was I cut the bottom of that bow stem off of there, and then I just used the loops. So I didn't give CJ any scissors, so she can't do that for you. But I can get her some scissors. That's not a problem. There you are. All right. So I just trimmed that right off of there, and that's going to be my little bow right on the bottom. There you go. Now let me show you how we did the banner. I cut the banner about two inches wide. I left it really long. And I've showed this in a couple other videos, but I just want to go ahead and show you again using a little bit bigger punch. This is just a square Marvy punch, and it's about two inches, I think. You're going to angle in the corner. Let me bring this in a little closer. Your tag, just like so. Do you see the white part there? And then you punch, and that's going to give you a perfect banner point. Check that out. How about that? Let me bring it up a little higher so we can see... Perfect. There you go. And then all we're going to do is trim that down. I think I trimmed it to about five. And then we're going to lay the flower right on there. We'll just show you like holding it on there because we're not going to assemble the card. You girls and guys can do that. And then you would lay your little bow on the bottom like so. There you are. So it goes together really, really fast. Now I'm not going to assemble the card, not because we're lazy, but because I want to show you. There's the card again. Let me bring this up a little bit so we can see. There you go. Bring that in, and there's the card right there. Now what I really want to show you is what else you can do with your die. The card that I showed you earlier was red. Do you see that little red? There you go. And if you look real close, that flower in the background there, I did that with that die. Now here's what I did. I took my die and I used Fun Foam, which is just this stuff you can get at any hobby craft store, and I die cut two different pieces of foam. So that it gave me a double layer, and then I did some of that sticky back, I don't know what that stuff's called. Anyway, it's what you make stamps with. It's double-sided stuff. I'll have to look up the name, and I'll put it in the end there. Do you know what it's called? Mounting foam. Mounting foam, yeah, that's what it is, mounting foam. Of course she knew that answer. She gets a star. Okay, so I mounted it on there, and then I'm going to put it on my Fisker's mounting little stamp plate here. And we're just going to show you how cool it is to stamp that. And of course I'm going to use my mat, because you know I like using my stamping mat as well. And we can just, we'll use the red CJ because it shows up really good on camera. Any scrap piece of paper will work for us to show you. And then all you do with this fun foam is ink it up exactly like you do any rubber or acrylic stamp. I make sure i got a lot of ink on there. Get back in the picture there. I moved it on you. You're good. And then you just press down. There you are. Oh my gosh, I love that. And if you stamp off like you stamp once and stamp twice, it'll give you like a little shadow. And you can just go all the way around in a circle and make your flower. Or look at that. Can we bring that a little closer and just show them how cool that is here? I'll even bring it closer. I really want this. Look, look at how cool that is. I'm telling you, way to get double your money's worth. Oh my goodness, I love that part. All right, so all I did, I'll bring the card in and show you, is I went around the circle, stamping twice each time. Let me bring that up a little. You're good. There you are. And stamped off twice, all the way around, made kind of a starburst kind of a flower. Poked a hole in the middle. I found that big old um, brad somewhere. I don't know where I got it. Made myself a little sentiment, and I called it a card. So there you are. So now, all you have to do is hop over there to CropStop.com. Check out the memory box dies. There's a ton of new ones coming out. And make sure to tell them that Peggy sent you and CJ helped. You have a great day. Bye.